Hey guys, it's Drew here with the Frequency Horizon. And I know it's been a while since we've done a video, but uh, hey, I've been busy journalizing. So, you know, deal with it. But I'm back at you because today we're gonna go see if we can find a San Francisco renegade sound system going on. There's some sort of uh, electronic music show supposedly happening on Ocean Beach. Now, you may be aware that Ocean Beach is one of the top surfing spots in the world, supposedly, although every single time that I try to come here, like today, it's totally a mess. How would you describe the waves? Oh, I, they were, um, you know, about average. <laughs> Do you guys live here? Yeah, we live right here. Is it? Do you ever see it looking nicer than this? Where, oh, where? absolutely. Yeah, where are the big surfing waves? Oh, winter time. Oh, winter time. Oh, winter time. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, this is not a real great surfing beach. It's really difficult to surf at. Yeah. Not, well. Not that we would know. But <laughs> so I've, been, I, I've seen some. I've seen some epic videos shot here. Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. And just barreling waves almost, uh, but uh, every time I come here, November, it, December, it looks yeah, November that November, yeah. December is the time to come here. Uh -huh. uh, but every time I come here, it looks like this, which is like the worst. <laughs> but I heard there's a there's a, a beach rave going on, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be there, but well, uh, not my scene, but have a good time. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Hey, there's supposed to be like a electronic music show happening here. Have you heard about it? Do you know where it is? Where that purple tent is? There was music coming from there. Okay, all right. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I heard there was supposed to be an electronic music show happening here. Do you know where it is? I do not know. It has the DJ down away. Oh, there's a DJ? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, what's the cup for? Oh, it was for a practice tournament we had earlier. Like beach volleyball? Beach volleyball. Did you win? No, I gave it away. <laughs> well, you get to keep it. Well, I, they have to get, I have to get their name inscribed. <laughs> <laughs> More work for you. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Wait a second. I think I can hear something. Come for the event today? Yeah. How did you hear about it? Uh, on Facebook. Facebook? Yeah. So you're from Missouri? Yeah. Okay, wait. Did you know that this guy's from Kansas? No, I didn't actually. We're at, it's like a Midwest like fest happening yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. It's Mero, you said? Nero, yeah. N E U R O? Uh, like Neurofunk. I, well, he's like well, Neurofunk? Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys are the best. He's got, I think she's got a uh, Instagram on him. <laughs> okay, cool. So what do you like about electronic music? What do you like about electronic music? Oh, I like both tech house. Uh, it's kind of, for me, it's the best music. I love that. I was grow up listening to tech house. And I have a lot of friends, DJ too. They play tech house. So for me, it would be why, why do you like it so much? Yeah. What does it remind you of? Or like, what do you like about the, the, the uh, I like the, the feeling, the music. Uh, when do you put like some voice of too, and how you mix it, yo, for the, the grow up, the music, the song. This is for me the best part. Hello everybody, my name is DJ 
Jay Jaffa. I'm here to that percent of this, you guys. But you know what? We're here with Tech House, House, Rhythm, Dubstep, the whole nine. And we're here with Frequency Horizon, guys. Much love, y'all. You know? How do you get into like uh, the whole rave scene anyways? Um, actually, I was 16 years old. I uh, went to Peaky's in Sacramento area. We went around the Sacramento area, Redding area. And um, I went for a friend of mine that was a rapper. He was like, you know what, come with me, I need some help. So I came through. And I literally went to this epic ass rave. I didn't even know it was a rave. I just went downstairs and it was a hidden thing. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what is this? Everyone was having a good time. People were just being friendly with me. And I was just like, this is not my type of scene. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Right, because I'm a hip hop kind of guy, Latin guy, you know what I mean? Reggaeton, hip hop that has similar, you know, type of characteristics. And I fell in love with it, man, because everyone was nice and having fun with each other. And I was just like, you know what? This, this is awesome. Like, this is a crazy, a crazy scene for me. So I uh, started looking up more and more of uh, of raves and all that. And then I found out about ADC in 2010. And uh, I went. And it was because I had a friend of mine that was ODing. I'm sorry for that guy, but uh, we had to literally pick him up. I ended up staying at the event because I couldn't find a guy. So they left me, they got him and just left him. Left me behind. They're like, dude, just have fun then. So left me behind, I was at EDC and I was literally where Little John and uh, Layback Luke were saying, you know what I mean? Stop jumping the motherfucking feds, you know. I was just like, whoa, this is a fucking crazy party. This is totally different. I love this shit. And I was just like, I want to be part of this. Something totally different. Like, it was a it was a spark in my mind. Cause I used to throw a lot of house parties in my house. Like, my mom, sorry mama, but uh, <laughs> she had a big problem with me throwing house parties. When she was gone in Nicaragua or in uh, any type of you know foreign country, I'll throw a house party in my house, minimum. 500, you know, 300, 200 people, you know what I mean? Minimal. <laughs> so we got, I, I used, I've, always, I've just been a party boy the whole my, all my life, that's it. And um, I finally found out about DJing, and it's not because it just landed to me, it's because my little sister, she was a musician, right? And uh, I was jealous. She, she, she was getting support from my mom all the time, because my mom, she's a singer. And um, <laughs> everything she was doing, it was just like, Man, through her, you know, through her mana, through her mana, she's doing this and this and this. She has good grades. She's a musician and all that. And I was like, wow, I want to be part of something. Because I used to just draw, like, graffiti and all that. As you can see, I used to do this stuff right here. And um, This one's pretty nice, hey? Right? right? It, it's really nice. Seems like it's been around for a while, but it, it, is, it, it, it stood the test of time in the winds of the ocean, you know? It's pretty crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, so, uh, but, like, what, at what point did you start the Facebook group for uh, Bay Area Raves? Actually, it, it's a funny story. Um... I saw my boy, he was telling, you know, he was saying that, you know, I'm trying to like, uh, you know, um, promote this, promote the group and all that. And he uh, literally, uh, let me be one of the admins. And I was just like, let's do it, bro. Let's let's, let's work together. And um, is it volunteer or like, I mean, you know, no, it was you all have volunteer. to moderate it and stuff like that. Does it take a lot of time or? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Def most definitely because the fact is I got Project Gas Mask. As my as my as my as my company as events and all that, but uh, I saw like he wanted help and I said, you know what, let's work together. Let's just you know you can even see in the very first post when you like look at the Bay Area Raves. But um, yeah, I was just like, you know what, let's work together. Let's do this and um, let's make something out of it. And after a while, I was just like, oh snaps, like people are starting just adding and adding and adding because I already had a following myself as a Dathma, I mean, the crazy guy, Mexican, party boy. And uh, it was fun, you know what I mean? Like, it, it was it was, uh, it was amazing. Like, I, I, want, I always wanted to bring the, a community together, to, you know, just to have fun. Because I believe if you ain't having fun, life is just being wasted. Because after, uh, there's a sad story behind my, my background where my little sister passed away like two or three years ago. She committed suicide. And, um, I mean, she was the idol of the whole family, like, you know, music, grades, art, all that. But now I'm carrying the torch. And I, I think I'm carrying the torch pretty well because I know she's happy for me right now because I've done shows from all over the states, but I want to go around the world now. And not just, just me, but I want to bring, like, you know, underground artists over to, like, you know, like Daryl, Socio, uh, a lot of them. <laughs> like, like <laughs> we're going to have a lot of them here today. We got two other ones. 
But uh, yeah, I just want to create something bigger than just myself and leave a footprint. That's cool, taking over the world yeah. with the One community, the right? One day at a time. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. I mentioned that I went to Oakland last night and rolled up in a, just a random bar there downtown and was practicing on my new DDJ 400 Pioneer setup, DJ controller. And homie was like, yo, you gotta go grab your shit and we're gonna have you play right now. So this is like my first DJ set ever, right by the Pacific Ocean, warming up for a gig I got lined up next week. Uh, promoting my my roommate's business that's opening so we'll see how it goes because I got some sick drum and bass up my sleeve got the goods frequency horizon inaugural set at the ocean about to begin check out my DJ performance yeah yeah five minutes I'll be playing <laughs> So he just gave me the go ahead to go on, so I'm gonna try doing it here. All right, so I tried to get my shit going and uh, I just had some issues with the driver. In fact, you have to, just for you DDJ 400 fans out there, turns out not only do you have to say yes in record box to switching over to DDJ 400 and make sure in your settings, like go into your actual like uh, Apple settings, system preferences, switch it over. But also you have to go into the actual preferences in Re record box and still change it over. So that was uh, a small little thing, but we're gonna see if we can get going again. But I'm enjoying this kind of hard style set in the meantime. this place and just stopped it cold but we got it back up and running just some sand everywhere but comes to the territory that's what I was expecting um, and so now hopefully this stuff is work and do what you gotta do to make the party happen We, uh, we had a crazy four-way session of fucking uh, volleyball happening, beach volleyball. Frequency Horizon. I got up to nine, I was like really close, but at the game point level, Adam came away in the end. Anything you have to say for yourself? What was the victory moment there for you? <laughs> you know, How did you make uh, it happen? It was quite the struggle. Drew put up a good fight, <laughs> and uh, I barely, barely hung in there, but you know, game point, I pulled it away with my wife. <laughs> she hung in there just along with me, and. Mm -hmm. She really played a, a key role in our winning here. <laughs> How would you describe the show today? 
Uh, lit as fuck, first of all. Like, the beach is only happening right here. Really. Good vibes, huh, or what? Uh, only good vibes. Yeah. You got some... Drama bass, female vocalist action. What more could you want? Here in Ocean Beach. Maybe some surfable waves, but you know, then we would be maybe out there instead of here, so it's all good. Yeah. How'd you hear about this? She found it. Uh, San Francisco EDM Facebook group. Really? I didn't hear that one. What do you think of the show so far? It's cool. It's a, it's a true renegade on the beach, making it happen. Bro, bro, bro. The end. You're amazing! Thank you.